Item Number SCP-1651 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-1651 is be held in a standard containment locker located within Site-77. Physical contact with SCP-1651 is not permitted for Foundation personnel, as this will trigger the anomalous effect. Standard testing is permitted throughout the year, with special testing authorized for days where it displays an additional anomaly. Description. SCP-1651 is a stuffed toy resembling a stylized elephant. It is well worn and has six holes that were stitched prior to containment. The head and one leg appear to have been deliberately torn off and stitched back onto the main body. The name Seth has been stitched onto SCP-1651's chest. Contact with SCP-1651 causes a cognition affecting anomaly to occur. Subjects will perceive themselves in a midway, watching as a young adult male wins a carnival prize for a young woman. This event will be viewed as though the subject were a third party at the event instead of being through the viewpoint of the subject receiving or given the gift. This effect will last for 4 minutes and 34 seconds or until the subject ceases contact with SCP-1651. The young woman and man depicted in SCP-1651 have been identified as Lucy and Seth Bronson, a married couple formerly located in Miami, Florida. Seth Bronson was killed on May 24, 1976, in an automobile accident returning from an unknown location. Lucy Bronson was reported as a missing person on October 20, 1976. She is currently regarded as a person of interest. If SCP-1651 is contacted on certain days through the year, the anomalous effect will show a different scene. There are six days through the year when SCP-1651 displays its effect, and each of these days have a unique perspective. During the time SCP-1651 had been in containment, there have been no alterations to the schedule. May 24. The normal effect occurs, followed by a sudden perspective shift to Lucy and Seth Bronson driving home, discussing a circus. They appear to be conversing inaudibly, and will continue to do so until 5 minutes and 23 seconds after the effect's initiation, when there is a sudden flash of light accompanied by the sounds of an automobile accident. June 3rd, A subject identified as Lucy Bronson appears distraught and is clinging to SCP-1651 outside of a shut door in what appears to be a residential home. This persists for exactly 10 minutes. Initially, she appears to be distraught. After five minutes, she appears to become affected by SCP-1651 and acts out her emotions with the normal effect while staying seated. July 12th. Through the perspective of SCP-1651, Bronson communicates various details about her day, which appears to have been spent within the home, and mentions that she is pleased he has recovered from his injuries. Notably, the subject appears to refer to SCP-1651 as Seth repeatedly. After SCP-1651 fails to respond to her, she becomes distraught and begins to shout argumentative phrases at SCP-1651. Ends approximately seven minutes after initiation, when SCP-1651's head is torn off. August 8th, nine minutes of Lucy Bronson stitching SCP-1651 back together, apologizing referring to SCP-1651 as Seth. Notably, several new holes have been stitched into SCP-1651. These appear to correspond with injuries sustained by Seth Bronson which resulted in his death. October 9th, Static viewpoint of SCP-1651, positioned in front of a refrigerator. The sound of someone moving things in the background can be heard, followed by a slamming door. November 20th, View of Seth Bronson's head sewn to SCP-1651's body in place of his normal head, appears to reciprocate the conversation seen on July 12th and becomes confused when Lucy becomes violent. 